speaking, we will stop in the middle of our sentence and raise our hand. And that is to indicate that we want whoever is at the microphone at that moment to finish our sentence. All right? Now, you can finish our sentence with a word or the rest of the phrase, however much you want to say at that particular moment. The key here is to do it the moment we raise our hand. We don't want you to sit there and try to think of something going, mm, trying to come up with a perfect answer. Because there are no wrong answers. Whatever you say, we will repeat and continue on yeah. and try to make sense of the scene. Also, don't plan ahead. We don't want you to be in the middle of the line and go, I'm just going to say fish numbers no matter what. When I hear. No, don't do that. Just listen to the scene and come up with something as you're listening. You don't have to be funny. Take that pressure off yourself. Whatever you say, we will use. It doesn't have to be something hysterical and funny. Just whatever creatively pops in your mind. Uh, and so, when you're at the microphone, be really close to the mic so we can hear you nice, loud, and clearly. Uh, that's important. And then, uh, after you've given an answer, you'll go to the back of the line, and we'll just keep rotating through all eight of you for as long as the game goes on. All right, Richard? Richard's loving it. He's doing the happy dance. Yes, he is. And we'll have a practice with you, all right? So if I said to Colin, hey, Colin, I just bought a... Here's the mic. A bike, Perfect. just like that. Excellent. And then we will continue on the scene. Perfect. All right, then just pick one of these cards. The oh, robot. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> An occupation a documentary would never be made about. You get a count of what? Farm. Garbage man. Garbage. All right. I am Garbage Man, <laughs> the superhero of all things thrown away. Yes. Great. Uh, <laughs> thank God you're here, Garbage Man. There seems to be things going wrong all around the city. For example, in the Main Street, there happens to be a... Problem. Problem. Oh! I'm going to be paid for the time being. All right. But I'll get more into detail as things go on. All right. Can you elucidate on this problem a little more? Because I have a hard time dealing with a problem if it's just generically a problem. Well, apparently a man has lost his... Hair. <laughs> Is this a man you know, personally? Or... <laughs> that could be a problem, I... It is. Yes, he's lost his hair. But... He lost it within five seconds. He had a full lap roll and then it was gone. Well, well, I'll have to help with this. Well, I am Garbage Man. I have very many special powers, but most importantly, I have the power to... Fly. Fly! <laughs> you noticed when I flew in here, yes, I can fly. I had saw that. It's in a long time in transit. Well, you'll need more than just a flying power if you're going to solve all the problems. I heard you also have the ability to... <laughs> Take off your shoes and not untying them. Take off your shoes and not untying them. Yes. The very thing that strikes fear into the hearts of criminals. They will take a lesson from me. <laughs> they will feel it in their soul. They will get their tongue lashing. Because they are heels, my friend. <laughs> So go solve all these problems, please. And if you do, the city will give you a nice, shiny... Boom! <laughs> but... A shiny butt? Yes! I've been hoping for a shiny butt for quite some time. Many of the time I've watched documentaries on baboons and been so jealous. What? Ooh! Ooh, that I could ever want that shiny, I think to myself. Well, you forget the shiny butt. And please don't think that's the last time you will hear of it. No! I have more work to do, then please, solve the problems and save the city! I must solve all these problems. Ah, oh, my crisis monitor says there's another problem across town. It seems that... I've lost my credit card. I've lost my credit card, so I won't be charging anything from here to there. I'll have to call and cancel it, but that's... I don't have time for that. I have to go over to the shopping mall, where there's a terrible... Shortness of Abercrombie and Fitch. Shortness of Abercrombie and Fitch! It seems that precocious skinny people don't have anything to wear! <laughs> Here I am at 
Come in. I'm Fitch. <laughs> Abercrombie's gone. He's just disappeared. My crisis monitor said you had a problem. Yeah, Abercrombie's gone. Now, I have to change all the signs to Fitch. Life's a Fitch, my friend. I know. <laughs> Nothing's coming to buy our stuff, so I've decided instead of selling clothes from now on, Fitch will sell only donkeys. Donkeys. Oh. We put our asses on the line. <laughs> I have to tell you, though, there's been a lot of weirdness around here. As I said, Edgar can be lost. I saw a guy lose his afro. There was a strange person. He looked dangerous. And in his hand, he had a... A stick. A stick. A stick. <laughs> it, it wasn't sharpened. No. It was just a stick. Well, a lot of the trees are losing their branches right about now. <laughs> Perhaps it's one of those. He seemed very possessive of it. Oh. And it was right after that that I noticed that Agrocombi had disappeared. Perhaps it wasn't a stick, but a magic wand. Perhaps he has some weird hocus pocus alopecia type spell he's casting on people. <laughs> I'm just a guy who sells donkeys. <laughs> well. I'd love to stay here and help you haul ass, but I must haul ass. All right, guys, I'm glad to luck to you. Farewell to you, Fitch. <coughs> oh, I'm going to have to find this evildoer with the stick. I know. I'll probably find him over at the... Delicatessen. Delicatessen. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I had been expecting you. Is I, your arch enemy, mentor, half man, half grandma? <laughs> Grandma. Yes. This side is way too, too much room. I know. Kid. I can't get her to stop. And your stocking is drooping around her ankle. <laughs> oh, that was your boob. The <laughs> anyway, garbage man, the city will soon be mine. I'm getting all the hair and various people. And my master plan to take over the world. Why do you have a plan to take over the world by getting everyone's hair? What possible use would you have for that? I'm going to get the hair and make a... Perfume department. <laughs> Perfume department! <laughs> well, I get to call that plan hair brain because I don't see any logic in it, but it is in truly strange. <laughs> I have people going all around this city right now, doing things you wouldn't expect. Well, a, Chaos will reign! I have a plan to stop you. I'm going to stop you by... Farting. Farting! <laughs> said to me when I was younger, he said these three simple words, 
about how to live life. He simply said, Love pretty woman. Love pretty woman. <laughs> it was his favorite video. <laughs> he loved the way Julia Roberts turned from coquettish prostitute <laughs> to mistress to soccer mom. <laughs> Those were good times. Oh, I'm out here all alone. <laughs> I will say some poetry that I've always found very fun. David Van, <laughs> it is time for us to end our rivalry, or I will destroy you. You put a stick in my butt. Yes. <laughs> and that was just the beginning. <laughs> so there's more? <laughs> yes. I decided I can no longer have you around, trying to thwart my plans. So I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to kill you with this... Banana. Banana. <laughs> It's not right. <laughs> Get away from my shiny butt. I'm not. No, it's a radioactive banana. And once you come in contact with it, you will begin to... Wait for it. <laughs> not be able to say anything. <laughs> You'll be powerless! You'll have me giggling like a schoolgirl! I will! <laughs> what I'll be able to do is sit and fart and take your shoes off without untying your laces. Just like my Uncle Bob. Yes! <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, I have one thing that'll stop you. One thing you didn't know is I'm going to stop you because I can. Grow hair! I can grow a hair! Oh, 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 oh. oh you've got watch, my one! Watch this! <laughs> Take that, Mentor! Well, you found my psychological weakness. I cannot stand people who have hair. I lost my hair in a tragic accident involving a... Nerd. Nerd. So you were all alone? <laughs> no. I was at a Star Wars convention and someone had an idea to make Boba Fett out of hair. And people, right, the natural at that point, they went crazy. Everywhere, little hairy Boba Fetts. True story. I'm going to cure you of your predilection. For evil? Ah. I'm not going to incarcerate you or shame you. I'm going to make you a happy person by giving you a... Ability to always sweat profusely. <laughs> the ability to always sweat profusively. <laughs> not profusely, profusively. <laughs> That's more than profusely. <laughs> it's got the extra in it for extra sweat. It's just what I needed. Oh. Ah. Using all that sweat will sweat away all my psychoses and psychological problems. Yes, consider it an internal sauna. I want to thank you. I'd like to give you something that doesn't involve a butt. <laughs> it has nothing to do with farts. Or poo or pee. <laughs> this is actually quite a lovely gift. It's very rare. It's very sweet, actually. Almost anyone would like to have it. Now, I am going to give you this lovely golden... Coin. 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 It has a picture of a butt on it. That must be Tails. Yes. Oh, and on the front, it has a little inscription. What does it say right here on the coin? It says... Um... <laughs> something. Um something. <laughs> oh no. Deploribus un um. That's yes. what it is. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for showing me the errors of my way, garbage man. If there's anything I can do for you, remember... to call me. Oh, I, uh... I'm going to move to... Um, L.A. L.A. On my L.A., which is...
south of the actual LA. <laughs> up my uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, Well, before you go... Now uh, what? To cheer you up, I'm going to sing you a little song that does not have the word um in it. <laughs> and it goes something like this. Oh, I'm gonna fight. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fight. 